Google Play Store on your Windows 11. Cool, is it? You can install anything here. Search for anything. This is how you can install Google Play Store on Windows 11 and can install any Android apps in Windows 11. Hi, this video is about how you can install a Google Play Store in your Windows 11, uh, which will help you to install all the Android apps on Windows 11, even if it is on an uh, unsupported PC or on a supported PC. So I'll show you how you can do that. This is 100% working, so you have to watch this video till the end to know how you can do that and do exactly what I show here. So first is uh, you have to download Android ADB tool. For that, I'm searching for Android ADB tools download in Google. So this is it. Just click on SDK platform tools release note. This link, the first link. And click SDK platform tools for Windows. Now accept the terms and uh, conditions. So now it's downloaded as you can see now. Now I'm just going to that folder. This is it. Now I'm going to extract it. Now you have to extract all the resources. This is a resources uh, zip file which I already uploaded in Mega uh, Download. I'll share the link in the description. Uh, you can download it from there. Uh, it's nearly 780 MP so you can download it from there. This is the re uh, resources that is required to install uh, the Play Store. So. I'm just going to extract that also here. So these are the two files, the two uh, files I have extracted, as you can see that this is a SDK, a platform tools for uh, installing the Windows, uh, the Play Store in Windows 11 and this one is the resources file and I'm going to extract that as well. Did that now I am going to extract the WSA file package. I have everything inside one uh, folder. Now next step is just click on kernel and just copy the kernel file and just go back to WSA package and from here just go to the tools and you have to replace this kernel with the other one which we are copied so just copy and paste it here so replace the file in the destination that is the first step you have to do now next you have to go to the settings from there uh, to the privacy and security then here for developers and then you have to turn on developer mode yes click on yes since I have already installed uh, the 
Windows subsystem. I have to uninstall that first. I'm uninstalling it. Now I have uninstalled it. Now what I have to do is just uh, search for Windows PowerShell to execute the command prompt. PowerShell. Just run this as an administrator. Now you have to go and copy the link from where you have where you have WSA package. Go to the WSA folder and select that path. Copy that path and paste it in the command box. You should add colon then copy and paste it. Then press enter. Now you are inside that folder. So this is back backspace M A manifest M A N I F E S T So just run it Yeah that's it now you have installed WSA you should get the WSA again just go and search for WSA uh, Windows you can see that Windows subsystem for Android app is back again now you can exit uh, this window now I am going to open Windows subsystem for Android Now what you have to do is just scroll down then uh, turn on the diagnostic data then you have to turn on the developer mode then just refresh it a couple of times now just click on manage developer settings now it is starting the windows subsystem you have to give the access allow access for that it's running now you can see that the google play store you will get a notification here just i am clicking on google go to the play store it's found so just go back and now you have to sign in you are not able to sign in now the next step is let's go back uh, to the platform tools from here just open platform tools just expand it I'm just copying that file meaning then I am typing C M D. Now inside that folder, you have to connect to the uh, IP address. For that, you can go to uh, the subsystem uh, settings. Then you can uh, refresh it. Now you will see an IP address here this is the IP address which you have to use that is 58526 127.0.0.1 colon 5.0.0.1 It shows fail to authenticate. 
if this happens then uh, just type adb shell yes you are you are we are in the root now set as zero now close down the screen so again go back and try signing in you have to agree just not cool now the play store is installed and i am inside the play store uh, browsing all the apps so here i am going to install uh, some of the apps to show how it functions so i'll install as many as apps i can so watch it enjoy it So uh, thanks for watching this, please subscribe, like and share, thank you.